I'm seeing my dead father because of my big brain ventricles, and he's training me to travel in time so I can save him from being murdered. Uh... See these blocks? Yeah. Imagine these blocks are the whole world. I mean, everything in the world, in the whole universe, really. Like, this block is the pyramids, and this block is Julia Roberts, and this block is a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay, so here comes Mr. Construction Worker. Oh, we like to pretend that's a lesbian mom. Sure, it's a, a lesbian mom, and she's walking, and she's looking around, and, and from her perspective, well, these blocks are everything. But you and I, we're up here, and we can see, no, they're just blocks. You understand? Right, but... See, you're not really up here. Well, you have one foot up here, and you have one foot still down there in the blocks. Yeah. Research had recently come out showing that people with schizophrenia, like my mother, they have large ventricles. Oh, sexy. Ventricles are the central pockets of fluid in the brain. I know. What's sexier than big pockets of fluid? So. Right? Okay, I got to thinking maybe mystics and priestesses and shamans, maybe they also have larger ventricles. Maybe their abilities come from a specific brain structure. And what'd you find? Well, I found it's very hard to convince holy people to let me scan their brains. So, no connection? Well, actually, the few that did let me scan them had larger brain pockets. Huh. See what you're capable of? Yeah, but this is a dream reality. Anything can happen in a dream. Yeah, well, when you're awake, you're in a physical-based reality, so it seems more real than a daydream or a dream, but those states are just as real. As your abilities continue to grow, these states will continue to blend. You'll have a more flexible, fluid reality. I think I'm already finding that. Well, that's my hunch, and I'd go back and find out for sure if I could, but that's why I need you. I need you to help me not have to play that game all the time. It's all about your emotions. You need to feel them without letting them become you. You know, like the keys, try, but not try, try. How do I do that? Just deep breaths and be like the sky. Let your feelings pass through you like weather. These are all moments where you felt deeply and the pain was too uncomfortable to process, so you stored them in your mind's basement, the subconscious. Even feelings you don't remember take up residence. Is that me with your mom? I met Geraldine? Yeah. Even feelings from your lineage. My feelings. Geraldine's feelings. All of this. All of these streams of lifetimes of suffering are carried through your mind and body. Even the good feelings. You have to let go of those, too. They can't be who you are if you want to be free. Try not try. Be like the sky. It again. No, can't you see? We're caught in a weird loop and I'm trying to get us out of it, but I need to focus. Come on. I got you. I got you. Yes, 
Gotcha. 